Hello there guys, it's GD and welcome to another episode of Mountain Blade 2 News Battle Lord. Here we go. So in this episode, uh, you're going to be seeing a short analysis of a video that Tail Worlds has released uh, for something that uh, was described on the forum as a programming olympiad. Uh, so I'm guessing this is some kind of event that Tail Worlds attended as a developer, and, and I'm guessing they were trying to showcase uh, uh, their menus. Um, I don't know if this is going to be uh, what's actually in the game, or if this is something that Tell Worlds uh, just created um, uh, to kind of um, uh, showcase in this event only. So I'm not really sure. Uh, now the video is split into uh, really, um, it's only a short 17 second video. Uh, and it got, uh, it's it's showing a presentation of uh, uh, certain menus, I'm guessing, in Bannerlord. And um, uh, during the video we see four different menus. And what I'm going to do here is uh, twofold. I'm going to go through the video, uh, try to show you or explain to you what I think uh, for uh, uh, each one of those uh, parts. Uh, then I'm going to ask you guys what you think, and maybe in the comments we can get some interesting responses. And finally, I'm going to ask you guys to go check out uh, the uh, Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord uh, discussion thread on the Tell Worlds forums. And that's where you can see an excellent, excellent post by uh, the one and the only Lumos. Uh, who has uh, made a uh, sort of um, in-depth analysis, I guess, uh, of um, uh, what he thinks uh, this video is about. So, let's get uh, right uh, on with it. So, the first screen, I guess, uh, to me, uh, appears to be very straightforward. This is uh, going from about one second in the video uh, to, I would say, I think it's nine or ten, yeah, about nine around the nine second mark the the screen changes so uh, from one to nine about half of the video uh, you can see that uh, Armagan is uh, showing off the I think what is uh, the inventory screen uh, I think on the left there you can see the items that the character is allowed to pick from on the right the items that are equipped and you can also see a lot of uh, what looks to be equipment and armor slots uh, so if you've taken a look at some of the previous images released by Tell Worlds uh, you can gather that there are a lot of very similar armors uh, that have sort of like add-ons on top of them and this was true in a lot of the screenshots that were posted earlier by Tell Worlds and that you can check out in my Mountain Blade uh, Bannerlord news video number two. Um, so it would be a very interesting prospect if you can have base armors and then you can add kind of like m in a modular way uh, sort of like you know a scarf or maybe add buckles or maybe add extra padding or extra armor on top of your armor that looks like something that would be uh, really really amazing and I'm sure many of us would love to have that customization option and not only will it have effects in how much uh, encumbrance your character have but it'll obviously affect uh, how many hits you can take and how maneuverable you can be on the battle so more customization means more fun uh, for all of us um, Mountain Blade lovers. Uh, so that's the first uh, screen there uh, not much seems to be uh, different otherwise the concept looks to be the same and that's something I really do like because the inventory screen in Mountain Blade Warband, uh, even though I think the equipment slots could have used more um, kind of expansion, uh, it was a system that worked and it allowed me to access the pools of inventory that I took either from winning my battles or when I was in Merchants and I can look at things very quickly and compare their stats very fast. Uh, but it looks like now that you might be able to try some of them on because you can see Armagan there uh, trying uh, several of them on. Uh, so maybe you'd be able to try an armor on before you actually commit to buying it. And that might be something really, really cool because in Mountain Blade 1 and Mountain Blade Warband, you would buy something and then you were like, oh, I'm not so sure I like the way this looks from the back. And then you would go to sell it and you would sell it for less than half the price. <laughs> I don't know if, how, how many of you had that issue, but uh, I know I did for sure. Uh, so the next video, I think, uh, appears to be the party menu. Uh, this is where you're looking at your troops. Uh, and the reason I'm saying this is because um, uh, Armagan moves uh, from a soldier to a, a soldier. And you can see different kind of skins uh, on the soldiers. Uh, but there are two lists. So this could be multiple things. Uh, this could be uh, him looking at maybe a prisoner list. Uh, but that's not very likely. I'd say it's more likely that he is uh, 
customizing a garrison. Uh, I think he is probably adding units from a castle or a town center into his army and back. Uh, and you can see this because there are like some four, like there are four buttons, or there appears to be four buttons at least uh, at the bottom there. And um, he is looking around in his, uh, in um, you know, characters and um, not characters, his troops on the right and on the left. But uh, the image is kind of far away, and uh, the quality of the video isn't fantastic, uh, so you can't really see uh, too well uh, what uh, what what's going on here. Um, the next. Um, the next sort of um, the next sort of page or menu, I'm pretty sure of this one. I think this is the going to be the faction uh, preview screen uh, for the characters. Uh, you can see that uh, at about uh, second 14 in the video, you will see a faction emblem at the top right, the faction leader on the left. You can see that all of them are bold right now because uh, I don't think. Um, I don't think Tail Worlds has actually implemented a lot of their characters. And below them you have like these uh, clickable, I'm guessing, icons that are going to represent uh, the different lordships and the important characters in that faction. Uh, so this is going to be a very quick way to kind of access the faction and the, the important people in the faction so that when you want to kiss some ass, you know which ass to kiss and where. Uh, so in, in Mountain Blade Warband, this was represented again by a character preview list, if you guys remember, and you could go through the factions and you clicked actually manually through a list and then saw the pictures on the left. It looks like now you're going to be identifying people from their portraits as opposed to their names, but you can still see their names below the portraits, so not, not a huge, huge deal. Uh, but notice that... Um, most of the video was towards the the equipment, so I'm guessing either Tell Worlds wanted us to see more about uh, the uh, the equipment than this, uh, because they haven't really implemented much of it. But I'm not really sure. And finally, uh, there's this one, um, there's this one kind of, this is this is a very peculiar, um, a peculiar screenshot that you're looking at here. This is the last screen that we see uh, in this video, guys, and. To me, it looks like a skill tree. It looks like, um, you know, abilities that you can, um, I'm guessing, kind of grow. But some of those buttons look like icons and portraits. So, I'm not really sure. My guess, it could be a bunch of skills that each each Mountain Blade character, uh, each Mountain Blade ba uh, Bannerlord character is going to have. Uh, that you can grow and upgrade because you can see the player there he's kind of uh, or upgrading towards the end of the tree so maybe the end of the tree represents a certain type of soldier maybe he's a horse archer or a, or a melee and maybe those skills are gonna allow him to wield better weapons or maybe um, unlock extra abilities or extra animations that would be really cool uh, on the other hand it could be something that is like a promotion system for your own companions uh, but I'm not really sure and we're going to have to wait and see uh, about that anyway I want you guys to let me know what you think about these four little mini uh, screenshots that we've got here uh, you can check out the video in the description below to watch it all in one go please do check out Lumos's uh, post from Lumos Corp the one and only magazine for Mount Blade Bannerlord <laughs> uh, shout out to Lumos and uh, yeah if you um, if you think uh, if you think of you know an idea or maybe uh, an explanation for some of these please 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 do let me know down below I'm sure everybody's going to appreciate it but uh, thanks for watching guys this, this was a short video in comparison to the older ones but I hope I covered the video good enough for you check out the links in the description below hit me up with a like subscribe if you want more Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord content and I'll see you guys in the next episode take care